Okay, I figured in this here, I will show you how to make the calculations of what I did to the pot to, you know, to give us that, that uh, values that we were looking at. Let's see. Now you got to bear with me because I'm doing this on a, with a mouse so I don't have a stylus here. Okay. So this will be for empty. This is for full. So we got 22.4 ohms to 145 ohms. And that's from empty to full. All right. Here is our, here's a pot. Now, the pot that I have is a value of 150 ohms. However, when I checked it, it actually was a pretty close to 180, okay? 180 ohms. So, what I like to do is with the slider here, turned all the way down to this end here, I would like for it to be this 22.4 ohms. So, what I did is I took two resistors, okay? I sold them together. And each one of these resistors are 47 ohms. And then I come out here, and then this will go to ground on the vehicle. Now, if I take two resistors of equal value, or more than two, could be as many as you want, but I take the value of the resistor divided by the number of resistors, and the total resistance of these two will be equal to 23 and a half ohms. Okay? Now that is pretty darn close to this 22.4 that's close enough now you can see there's going to be a problem now my 23 and a half ohms that's here is in series with this here 180 ohms so when I turn this here wiper all the way fully clockwise I am now gonna have oh let me see 180 I'm trying to do this in my head let's just let's just put it up 180 plus 23 and a half so you can see that I'm going to have 203 ohms here, right? Which is more than my 145. So what I really like to have is that the 23 and a half here plus 100, well, let's, let's subtract it out. I know I want 145 ohms total. So I have to subtract out my 23 and a half. Which is going to give me. One hundred. And twenty one. And a half ohms. So. What I really need this up here to be for this 180, I really need it for it to be 121 and a half ohms. So, to do this, we're going to take and we're going to put a resistor and we're going to put it in parallel across the whole outside leg of the pot. Now, let's call this one R1. Now, we'll call this pot over here. R2. Okay. Now, the question is, what are we going to do to calculate this value to give us this 121 and a half? All right. If you have two resistors of unequal value, the equation is R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2 is equal to the value we want 
which is 121 and a half. Okay. Now, R1, we don't know. So, we're just going to put it down. Times R2, which is 180. Now, I've already done all this. I got a TI-89 uh, calculator, and you can solve for this, but I just want to show you guys, because you may be using different values um, pots up here. You might be using a, a 1K or a 5K. So I'm just, you know, just trying to make this complete so that you can just see what I'm doing here. Okay. Whoops. Okay, 121. I definitely need a stylus. Now what we want to do now is I'm going to, we're going to have to eliminate this here denominator. So I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by R1 plus 180, and that will get rid of that denominator for us. So now we've got R1 plus 180, okay, and over here is R1 plus 180, okay. Now you can see the denominators cancel out. Now that leaves us with R1 times 180. So I'm going to just start that up over here. So that will be 180 R1. Okay. Is equal to 121.5 R1. Plus, now we're going to take 121.5 times 180. And that should be 21.870. Okay. Now, I'm going to subtract 121.5R1 from both sides of the equation. So over here I should have 58.5 R1 is equal 21.870. Now Dividing both sides of the equation by 58.5, we'll be left with R1 is equal to 373.85 ohms. So R1 is equal to this. So, standard value for this, because you can't find an exact resistor, so a standard value is 390 ohms. So that's what I'm using right here. So now, when I turn this pot, I should have 23 and a half, and when I turn it, I should get pretty darn close to my 145. So my parallel resistance of 180 uh, 180 ohms here for the pot in parallel with 390 ohms should give me this value here. Now with this value here added to 23 and a half, that will give me that. Okay, so probably, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have gone in all that detail, but uh, you know, just somebody was wondering or wanted to see how it's done. Now you know. So you know just trying to make this all complete here okay okay now one last thing that we want to mention before we get through with this here is there's there's two connections now you can see there's a connection right here but that connection let me grab this that connection will not be used 
We're going to be using this connection for the ground. I'm going to hook it up to the DC negative of the battery. This one right here is going to be going and that will connect up, remember, to the slosh module. Slosh. How about just say slosh? And that'll be the input. So we're going to be using the wiper and this connection here. What I'm going to do is I'm so in the next uh, next shot I'm going to actually show you the pot that I made, and so you can see see what I did here. Okay, now this is the pot that I made here. This uh, you can see it doesn't look that great. You know, it's not inside the enclosure, but we don't really care about that. I just want to make a test here. So uh, this thing is uh, the red lead is going to be going to the slosh module. The black lead is going to be going to the DC negative on the battery. Okay, the very end, and this thing is about, oh, I guess about eight foot long as far as the wires. I got it on alligator clips. Okay, so let me hook it up so you can see the resistance on here. Okay. Now, if you remember, we should have 22.4 ohms when the tank is empty. Now, the pot is fully counterclockwise, that's which is what I wanted. And as I turn the pot clockwise, the resistance should increase. Now, at the full uh, uh, reading, you know, when the tank is full, then we should have 145. But I'm going to come up a little bit short of that just to show you. But it's nothing critical here. And you can see I got about, say, almost 141. So that's it. So let's get ready to go out to the truck. Let's hook it up. And let's see which direction we're going to go, whether it be into the tank or do we need to pull the instrument cluster out. Okay.